just get on here and show you a couple of things that I like to do to save money, to um, budget a little bit better before I go to the grocery store, make a better plan. I wanna show you like all those little things. And a couple of things that I do to make sure that I reduce my waste, um, like food waste and things like that. So um, I'm sure some of y'all will be jumping on soon. I, <laughs> I haven't been live in a while, so let me look at some of the settings here and see if there's anything that I need to do. I don't remember if there was a setting to go. Okay, I see some, okay. I'm just gonna leave that be because I don't know what that is. <laughs> Effects, I don't know how that works. Hi everybody. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, you may remember I picked up some um, leg meat at Aldi the other day, oh, back on Wednesday. And it, this is the sell by date of today. Sell or freeze by today. So <laughs> the, just the week got away from me. We ended up going to Disney and I didn't cook the meals that I had planned. And instead of wasting the chicken, um, I'm gonna plan ahead and go ahead and use my food saver to um, sort of separate this. This is 2.69 pounds, so I'm just gonna separate it half and half. So it's a little bit over a pound for each um, you know, portion. And that's one way that I save money is that I do normally pre-portion these things when I buy them in bulk in about one pound portions. So it's a little bit easier to um, you know, have something that I can pull out of the freezer and just throw like in the Instant Pot or something like that or throw in the oven. Um, so that's one way that I save money is buying in bulk. This, it wasn't like, um, oh wait, it's $2.69 a pound. <laughs> Reading is not my um, uh, thing apparently. <laughs> because remember I thought these were um, thighs at the store. They're actually leg meat and that's why they weren't on sale. Um, so this is three pounds. So I actually might do three then. One, two, three. So let me get one more bag. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I need more coffee this morning. I only had two cups. Please say hi if you're getting on. Um, it's been like wild lately. I think I haven't gone live in like three months. And normally I have the ad. I don't have the ad yet. I'm hoping that we'll be um, on the driveway though in a little bit. Um, and so maybe I can just pull up my computer and see what kind of deals they're going to have this week so I can do some planning. And then I can show you what... Uh, what the what the plan is so right now i'm just using my food saver to let me see if i can get you a better angle here there we go also i want to talk about some ideas for um my next like videos and what y'all i need your opinions and things like that too so i'm not sure where i can read the comments where can i read the comments if you are here leave me a comment so i can see it because like i said it's been a little while and each um, platform is different in um, like how I can see things. And if you can hear me okay, give me a thumbs up or something. Cause my phone did get waterlogged. And so I'm not sure if my microphone works um, great or not. So let me open up this chicken and get this started. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, separate this. Now, if you're watching later, this is, was recorded live and so if you don't want to hear certain parts you want to skip ahead to the meal planning part of it you can certainly do that by fast forwarding so all right so let me wash my hands really quick <clears throat> I do believe that I have this food saver in my storefront, so um, it's a less expensive option. Good morning, thank you, Kay. Okay, so that's where the comments come up. I can never remember if I have to like swipe, um, you know, and I'm like one of those people that washes my hands a bunch in the kitchen, so I don't wanna to touch the phone a bunch. So anyway, um, the, the way that I do this is I usually buy like a roll, um, so I can decide how big I want the bags to be. They're also usually cheaper if they're not pre-cut, and I'll wait until either I buy them at Costco or I wait until like Black Friday and buy them, and then I can just cut them using a little, you know, machine here and then seal it like that. So now I have three bags ready to go, and I'm gonna separate this into three one-pound portions because it's 3.28 pounds for this leg like meat. I'm gonna do my best here because it looks like um, there's four pieces. <laughs> so. Uh, one of them might just be two smaller pieces here. Let me see if I can work that out. We're just gonna wing it. So it's super easy, I just open it up. And the, the key with food savers is you just wanna make sure you have like a little bit of space. 
at the very top so that way it can seal properly. So about three inches or so on the top. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to get this in here without making a huge mess. Okay. You can certainly, you know, prep your chicken any way that you want before you portion it. I just like to get it in the freezer because the longer that I wait and the more, <laughs> the more I tell myself like, oh, you know, I'll do that when I get time, then it's, that's when I waste things. So just gonna throw it in the freezer because today is the last day to do that. Get in there. And then with my chicken, I like to make sure that it's like relatively flat too. Okay, so see how much space is there? So that's usually about the amount of space that I like. We're just gonna close that up and then I'll put it on moist and then we're just gonna vacuum seal it. A little bit loud, sorry about that. <laughs> and that's just sucking the air out. Now it's done sucking the air out. It's gonna go ahead and seal the other side. And it doesn't take long at all. This probably takes me maybe 10 minutes or so depending on what it is that I'm portioning. So I'm gonna have one with a little bit more meat. So a lot of times I use um, meats for garnish and that's one way that I save money. So I'll like stretch, you know, probably a piece like this um, for four people by, you know, really packing the meal full of other proteins, beans, lentils, um, or even like um, really hearty vegetables like sweet potatoes. So. I love my sweet potato fries recipe. That's one of my all time favorites. Um, I do have sweet potatoes. Okay, so here's that one. Nice and vacuum sealed. I can put a, um, you know, um, the name of what it is and the date and then throw it. And you can see it's nice and thin. So it doesn't take up much space at all. So let's do the next two and then we'll be done with this. And then we can move on to looking at what we have on hand. Huh? <laughs> I'm always in such a hurry. Hurrying up. Let's see. Moist vacuum seal. Okay, that's going to be done. Now I have three that I can just throw in the freezer, just like that, nice and sealed. And this will go back into storage. So let's go through that in the freezer really quick. Sorry about my house, it is a mess. So if you're seeing things <laughs> messy, sorry about that. Hello, hello, I'm good, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to open my freezer here. Really quick, I have this beautiful freezer <clears throat> that really like changed the game for me. It's got these wonderful drawers. Isn't that awesome? So I went ahead and put one of my tofus in the freezer too, because um, I was looking up some tofu recipes and I saw that um, somebody said the texture really changes for tofu when it's in the freezer. So I want to kind of experiment with that and uh, see how that goes. I think I already have some chicken breasts in here. But they might be tender, so anyway, I think the chicken breast from the other day. Usually I put my, um, my uh, poultry here on the bottom because for food safety, you should put your um, poultry on the bottom because it needs to be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is the um, highest temperature meats need to be cooked at. So you, that's why you want it to be on the bottom because if something happens and some liquid drips down, you know that the, the thing that needs to be cooked the most is at the bottom. So that's a little tip, <laughs> food safety tip. Um, so tofu, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the top. This is ready to eat stuff. So um, 
tofu you cook still, but obviously it can be cooked to a lower temperature. So I'm going to put some of my ready made stuff here on top. All right. So here I have some fish, hash browns. I've got my bacon. I'm just looking really quick to see what I have. Look. Oh, a couple of waffles. <laughs> they fell down. Okay. And I've got some hot dogs in there because we rarely eat those. Hash browns and tater tots. And then I've got some ready to eat chicken already here. So I'm going to go ahead and go get my meal planner and start writing down some things. So let's grab that. So I have a link to the meal planner too. Let me wash my hands again. <laughs> Anytime I'm handling anything with poultry or chicken, even if it's frozen, I still wash my hands. Let's see, let me read the comments here. Hi, Christine. Oh, you replaced your bottom freezer with three bins. So much easier to manage. Oh, I have a reminder. Alexa, stop to shake the vanilla that I have because I make my own vanilla. <laughs> vanilla now. Those vanilla bean pods are in my storefront. It's cheaper um, than buying vanilla extract. I got it. Oh, now separate the chicken, my other reminder. <laughs> okay, so here is my meal planner. Um, this is my the old, let me see. Alexa, stop. There we go. This is the new one that I just redid. I got some feedback that um, somebody's family of four couldn't keep track of all of their inventory and the amount of pages. So I went ahead and doubled all the inventory pages. So now... There's twice as many um, pantry, refrigerator, freezer pages. And then, of course, I made this a little bit bigger. So you can see the difference here. So there's a little bit more space to write now. And uh, this is where I write my grocery list and the prices. And then this is where, you know, I'd write down, like, what I'm going to be making. So I can take this whole thing to the store <laughs> and make sure I don't buy things that we don't need. Because this way I can actually see, like, okay, so Monday we're making French fries, like, for instance... Let's see, last week. So I could see chicken stroganoff, hamburgers, Diane, broiled fish with broccoli and rice, potato soup with biscuits, Chinese noodle salad, vegetarian chickpea salad. So I could see exactly what I was going to make. So when I saw something on sale or something that I was like, oh, do I need that? Could I use that? Then I would be able to see like, oh, I'm making these things. I'm not going to use that this week. So it's helped me really stay focused and not just buy. Because I, before I was doing this, before... I was buying like cheese all the time and you know, even if we didn't need cheese. <laughs> and so then I end up with like a stockpile of cheese for no reason. Um, so now I'm a little bit more mindful and I can double check my meal plan for the week and just tell myself, oh Laura, you're not gonna use that avocado. Like just cause it's 49 cents doesn't mean you need to grab one this week. <laughs> so, um, cause that was always a big issue for me. It's like, I'm sure I could use that avocado for something, but if it didn't have a plan, it would go to waste. So um, let's go to, so once you write everything in your inventory sheets, you can just use a pencil to erase, you know, the quantity. And so you shouldn't have to be rewriting everything every week, which is nice about this. So it is cold here, by the way, which is why I'm wearing my fluffy jacket in the house. I don't like the heater. I don't like to use the heater. Is anyone else like that? It just makes me feel like I can't breathe. Okay, so let's go in my pantry really quick and just see really quickly. I'm not going to have you see the entire process because I mean it really only takes me 10 minutes but I don't want to <laughs> sit here in silence while I look at everything so here's what I have on hand as far as like dry ingredients it's kind of a mess in here I need to reorganize everything so I do have um, some like a little bit of lentils so I really want to figure out how to use just a little bit of lentils I have some dry beans I have some red lentils and I actually saw red lentil soup that I'd like to try I just have to look at the other ingredients I have a lot of pasta a lot of pasta I have some pho noodles I have some um, roasted seaweed and some spring roll wraps, like rice paper. Um, let's see, I have a few canned things, but I mainly stocked up with those things for emergencies. So I like not to use um, canned things very often because of the high sodium content. Um, so I usually just keep like some canned chicken and things like that in case there's an earthquake and we lose power or something like that. <laughs> So like for instance, canned corn, 
has 13% of the daily value of sodium and only half a cup, and there's three and a half servings in here. Um, so I usually use frozen corn instead because we try to reduce sodium in this house. But sometimes I like to use the canned corn um, to add like that extra flavor and then just don't add salt to the dish. Okay, so I don't see a whole lot of other things, some dry ingredients, and I have a lot of rice, I have some onions, and I don't have garlic, which is weird for me. I have some garlic growing in the backyard though, so I could probably go and just pick that if I really need it. <clears throat> and then this is like my veggie freezer over here. So I have two separate freezers, kind of fun. So I do have some frozen broccoli, frozen mixed veg, I have frozen spinach. I have some zucchini from the garden that I just cubed and froze just like that. I have some, a lot of whole tomatoes. Now with whole, with tomatoes, I just throw them right in the freezer just like this. And then I just rinse them under water and the peel, like the, um, the outer part, you know, the skin just comes off really easily. And uh, you don't have to like core it first, you can core it later. Um, also, I have some jalapenos from the garden that I just threw in the freezer like that. Um, this is my tomato paste. I just separate it into like smaller pieces so I can grab a little bit at a time. Let's see, pizza sauce. This is our um, ice cream freezer with popsicles and ice cream <laughs> down here. Okay, and then um, pesto. I have some pesto back there too, which I just separated into um, small chunks like this. So it's like an ice um, tray. I just put some plastic wrap on top. I have some bread too. So lots of things in there. And then my freezer, I don't have a ton of stuff in my freezer. Oh, please forgive me. It is very messy. <laughs> um, all right. So I do have some mozzarella. I prefer to buy it like this because then it lasts a lot longer. It melts better. Um, this is best by April 12th, 2024. So I can stock up if I see a sale when it's like a dollar or two. I have some white cheddar. Ooh, and then here's this, seriously sharp, the cabbage cheese that y'all said I should try. That's in there. Um, I do have some spreadable cheeses and things from the holiday we can use for snacks, like for a little like adult lunchable lunch. <laughs> I have some cottage cheese that I haven't opened yet that I need to use. Um, and then some yogurt, which I always keep on hand for a lot of different things. Um, I have like half of a dozen of eggs up here. And then in my, let me see if I can, can I turn y'all around on here? I can. Okay, let's do that. All right, so here is my fruit and vegetable drawer. So you saw I have some frozen vegetables, but I do have some carrots. And I do have some celery. So I can make some soups, some chilies, things like that, some stews. Um, I have some oranges. I have um, homegrown lemons. Tonight I am making the flounder. So I went ahead and put that in the refrigerator. It'll just take about eight hours to thaw. And um, milk and juice and like a ton of hot sauces, as you can see, tons of hot sauce. Um, <laughs> and like all the condiments I could possibly need. Mayo, hoisin, Italian dressing, ketchup, Worcestershire, soy sauce oyster sauce. I always recommend keeping like a lot of different variety of um, your favorite condiments on hand because you can use it for so many things like, um, let me turn you back around, like um, mustard for instance. You can use that in a lot of different things to flavor it. So let's just look really quick and try to make a plan. Oh, I do have some potatoes and sweet potatoes too. So let's see. I've been trying to make some of the recipes from this book too quick and thrifty one. So let's see what we've got. So here's that broiled flounder I'm gonna be making tonight. And it says that it takes um, five minutes to prepare and eight minutes to cook. So that's super fast. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's what we'll do um, and it'll go well. And I'm going to serve it with like rice and broccoli probably. So now at this point, I know I need milk because I always need milk every week and then my son is very picky and eggs are one of the only things that he actually eats <laughs> that um you know in the morning so uh i need milk and eggs like every week so let's write that down but i don't really have a plan for i need to kind of look at what i can make in this um book here because i've been trying the 30 minute recipes they also have a section that's like 15 minute recipes so i've been looking in here to see if i can utilize those first and then I want to do some freezer meals too. 
So let's look. So I want to make something with sweet potatoes. I know that for sure. If you have any recommendations for um, dinners to use sweet potatoes, it's not loaded sweet potatoes because that's what I usually make. Um, put them in the comments so I can come back and look at them later. Um, I don't know if there's any like really delicious soup I can use that in or um, somebody said maybe using it with a roast, but I don't want to do roast again because it's expensive because I have chicken. I have an outdoor freezer, but there's not much in there right now. Just bell peppers and tomatoes. I have a lot of tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. My plant went crazy. So <laughs> there's a lot, a lot, a lot in there. I could probably make a ton of homemade sauce, but I haven't tried canning yet. Um, I have all the stuff. I bought it. I plan to try it, but something about it is just intimidating to me. So let me check the comments really quick and see. Hi, Linda. I hope you're having a great day too. Let's see. You've never been on one of my lives before. They're rare here. <laughs> Oh, thank you for joining me. Let's see, Natasha, hello, good morning, Linda. Sweet potato fries, yeah, sweet potato fries. It's what I usually make, it's so delicious. Um, let's see, and then of course I have pasta. Um, so I could do something with the pesto in there or I could make homemade tomato sauce, of course. I have all the things I need. I've got onions, carrots, and celery to make mirepoix so I can make like a nice ragu or something like that. Let's see. <clears throat> so, Right now, I'm just really going to write down the things that I really, because I've been doing inventory for so long, like I don't have to write it all down um, right now on the spot. I can just kind of write down the things that I know I need to use. So I have chicken thighs, so I'll write that down. Chicken breast. I have tofu. I have sweet potatoes that I want to use before they go bad. And I have gold potatoes I want to use before they go bad. And then I have the carrots and the celery. So that's, um, and the onions. And so that's like the, what I'll do is I'll write that down at the top for me. And then I can go through and use like a website like supercook.com. That's what I use if I, I need more ideas and I wanna know how I can use those things. I just put in those specific ingredients and it'll show me all the recipes from the entire internet of, of things that include just those ingredients. And then it'll let me know like you're missing olive oil for this one or you're missing uh, rice for this one. And so I can see if I have it and then I can add that. So I do have rice and pasta. So I'll just add that and that'll give me um, an idea. And then of course I have broccoli and mixed veg. So I could do, so what sounds really good this week is like a chicken pot pie casserole. That sounds really good because it's so cold. It's going to be like a low of 38 here or something like that. And that's really cold for Southern California. So um, we're all kind of freezing over here. Um, so I'm definitely going to lean into like some comfort foods, some soups, um, things that will really like uh, warm us up. So probably write that down. And my kids love that. Either a chicken pot pie soup or casserole. And then I can maybe do um, lasagna soup or maybe just a, do you remember that lasagna I made with cottage cheese? It's like a, um, a lasagna pasta. It's lazy lasagna is what I call it. So I do have um, enough to make that. So that's a really good one for cold days. And then sweet potatoes. I can do like a crock pot sweet potato, potato like a, um, a loaded sweet potato with the chicken. Let's see if y'all have any more ideas. Black bean sweet potato chili. <gasps> that sounds so good. And that's perfect because I have like, I have a ton of black beans I've already cooked too because I, I take the dried beans and just make a big batch and then separate them into about as much as you'd get in a can. Um, so black bean, thank you for the suggestion. That sounds so good. Black bean sweet potato chili. Okay, so definitely gonna try to make that one this week because it uses a lot of the things that I, I wanna use. Tofu stir fry and with white rice. That sounds really good, Linda. Okay. I, I tried to make some crispy tofu the other day and I, I still don't have the hang of like getting it really crispy. So I'm thinking maybe I need to make the pieces a little bit smaller or maybe use the air fryer. I don't know. I'm kind of lost with that. I did marinate it this time. <laughs> so um, I am going to edit that and show you the video because I made it with like a, um, a room temp um, noodle salad, which is interesting. It was good, but it was different. So I don't know that I'll be adding it to my rotation, but I usually like hot noodles, <laughs> but it was still good because it was noodles. And then I'm going to look at this and kind of see if I can find any more recipes in the quick and thrifty cookbook. 
because I want to be able to make, obviously I have to be able to make recipes that I can use um, in videos. So that's kind of the challenge is sometimes I have to um, do a mixture. That's why I'm kind of like stuck on the whole shopping trip and then making the shopping trip and the recipes because sometimes I do a shopping trip for a lot of odds and ends and random stuff that we need and then only use like three or four things to complete all the recipes. But I want to show people what the prices were when I make the recipes. So I get kind of like, I put a poll up though. So put, if you want to see the, um, the shopping trips by themselves, or if you only want to see shopping trips when they have recipes at the end, let me know because I'm kind of stuck on what to do with that. So obviously my recipe videos are much more popular than my shop with me videos. Um, but the shop with me videos, I really enjoy <laughs> because they're, they're fast, they're easy for me to make and, um, they're fun. So kind of stuck there. So I think that's it for the plan though, because I have a few ideas already and for sure I want to make some sort of soup and I have a couple of, um, frozen bags of like the bones from, uh, chicken, like rotisserie chickens in there so I can make homemade chicken stock. I don't, never buy chicken stock anymore. I always just save the bones and stuff. Let's see. Reading the comments. Let me go check in my freezer outside also. Okay. It's dark over here. Sorry. Let's go outside. Okay. Thank you for the tips. Um, Nat on the tofu. I'm going to write that down. Let's see, and Christine, you said you've made the pasta with the herb cheese. Oh, boars and cheese. I do have a couple of things of boars and cheese. So that's actually a really great idea because I have pasta, I have tomatoes. Um, let's see, I have all the things. Throw in some fresh, fresh veggies because I could use the um, uh, zucchini for that too. All right, let's see. Like what's behind me? <laughs> Kites. All right, what else, what else? Um, Linda, you said pat it dry with a towel and put a little cornstarch. I didn't put the cornstarch, so I wonder if that's what my problem was. All right, so let me turn you around again. All right, so here's my, this is my deep freezer, mostly ice cream, frozen fruit, um, and then tomatoes, all the tomatoes. So all these are homegrown tomatoes. And then I have those two turkeys that I picked up. Remember, those were 69 cents a pound. So I grabbed one last week and then I grabbed one, um, what, three weeks ago when they were on sale. And this was like the last one they had, so I picked it up. And then here's the bell peppers again. I just throw bell peppers in the freezer just like this and they thaw really, really fast. I just rinse them underwater and let them sit on the cutting board for about five minutes and then cut them. And they just, they're perfectly fine. They, they do great in stir fries or any way that I've used them. More zucchini from my garden. People always ask me, where are the vegetables? <laughs> They're in my freezer. Um, here are the black beans. So I've made quite a few um, beans. These are chili beans also. And that's so just beans and, you know, random stuff. And here I've got more beans. So. <laughs> All right. So let me go back in now. So as you can see, lots of beans. So I could use, I could make a chili. Definitely make a chili. Maybe two different kinds of chili this week. I don't know. Okay, so that's mainly the way that I do that though, is I, um, I just take 10 minutes and, um, oh, I have to get on a phone call here in just a few minutes. Um, so I just take a few minutes to look at my inventory, write down the things that I have to use that week and then see what I need need from the store. So whether it's like a little bit of produce um, or milk or eggs or whatever that is. And then once I get the ad, then that's when I look at what's on sale. So I'll be like, okay, so that fish for instance for tonight, if there is some sort of vegetable that's on sale, I'll buy that vegetable to go on the side with the fish. Or if I'm looking at chili, I can see what kind of veggies I can add to my chili or my pasta, whatever it is I'm making. So I can make meals more complete, but not spend a ton of money. So that's the way that I save um, a lot because I've been able to do like 40 or $50 a week for a family of four for a long time. And the occasional um, like $100 trip when I need more meat, um, or when somebody comes with me, <laughs> you know, like my husband or kids, when they come with me, it's like, can I get this? Can I get that? Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and go. I have to hop on a phone call. Um, and if you have any extra comments on, you know, what you want to see from me in the future, um, please leave that down below. So if you want to see, um, less shop with me's or only shop with me's with recipes, let me know. Um, also you can become a member here on YouTube. 
Um, right now you're just supporting me. I don't have any extra things yet <laughs> because I'm spread really thin, but eventually you'll, you'll get extra things. Um, I think it's like five bucks or something to become a member. Um, thank you, Pauline Woods, for being my very first member here. That's amazing. Um, I almost cried when I saw that because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I didn't think anybody would. Um, so thank you. So you could do that. Also, um, I will continue always offering my recipes for free. I've seen a lot of creators lately um, kind of put a paywall up for their um, recipes and I don't really understand that. So I'm not gonna make you pay for recipes. They're always gonna be free. They'll be on my blog or on the video itself in the description or anything like that. So um, let me know what y'all are cooking for dinner this week too so I can get more ideas because <laughs> I definitely need more ideas. And stay tuned, I do have a quick and thrifty recipe video coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that because it'll be really fun from that vintage cookbook. Have a great day and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.